Okay, here we go now. It's me against a guy from the United Kingdom. Um, and I'm going to call this game a series of small swindles. I open up with the English C2, C4. Black responds with the passive but playable E6. I try to control the center. Then black gets aggressive, challenges that control right away. Exchange, exchange, push, push, push. Um, so this position is um, kind of tricky. Computers play it against me a lot for some reason, especially this C2, C4, immediately challenging the center. So takes, takes back. It's a little dangerous to put the queen out there in the middle, but... Um, I pin the queen, I pin the uh, knight, so check, block, then now we have two pieces on the, on the knight, and even though it's defended, the problem is if the knight disappears, the bishop hangs, so I would lose at the end of that, so takes to eliminate that problem, but eliminating that problem gives uh, white a fairly strong, um, I mean black, a fairly strong pawn center. Okay, I defend so that the pawn is not in the center if, uh, if black takes. Uh, here I get aggressive, f2, f4, try to uh, support this pawn. It's a little bit risky as it opens up this diagonal. Now it's a direct attack to the queen. Have to move back. Um, here I decide, this is uh, why I call this a game of swindles. I start out here, takes, takes back, moves over. Now I have to defend, check, uh, castles. Uh, I, I move the knight preparing the castle. And now, this is where things get kind of creative. Um, black has a very good foothold on the C2 square as well as G2 t takes with check. So there's too many threats there. And um, I have to decide not to castle, protect, and I'll support the uh, C C2 square square uh, in my next move if I can. So I bring that over. What's good here is uh, c5 is being attacked twice. So interestingly enough, um, this is kind of a blunder on I think on my opponent's part pushing to c4 because I simply take here and that eliminates the defender of the knight. So the knight has to run back. So I decide that the king can be a fighting piece as well. Uh, this is interesting. Um, I employ en passant. Um, it's looked at as a mistake by the computer, but I still like it. Uh, the reason I like it is the knight's only protected by the bishop, and the bishop can be easily overworked. So takes. So now... Black attacks the, the, the rook, so even though the knight hangs, there's no defense on the rook. Because I would, I would clearly give up the rook for the knight and the bishop, but not just for the knight. So attack, um, push again. And my strategy here is um, the... Both the bishop and the knight will be hanging, even though I'm giving up the knight for the pawn. So I should come out on top. So white does the only thing it can do, which is attack my more powerful piece. So I, I have this check, and you can't ignore check. Check always buys time. Moves out of the way. Takes. And what's good about that is the check supports the the rook so that I am getting two pieces for one and it was on that move that my opponent resigned swindle accomplished